Mm. Yeah. Yes, we have a public hearing special permit application for 149 Huckabridge Road. Mr. George. Okay, you got it right, it's right there. It's right where? Oh, right here. Okay, I got it. Yes, you have to read the article. Yep. In accordance with MDL Chapter 48, a public hearing will be held on November 20th. Uh, 2023 in the Men in Town Hall, 20 Main Street, Men in Mass, at 6 p.m. for the special permit for a tire sales and auto repair shop at 149 Uxbridge Road. It was uh, in the Daily News on 11-6 and 11-13. Okay. I think we had asked for a drawing just as a hand sketch of uh, with parking and stuff like having gone by and looked at your property. I see where you've lined out the parking for. Yeah, he did it. I asked him to sketch about. He did it today. I went back to this point. Uh, he did it. I have like a 10 spots in the back. I drove by and saw it too. Yeah, there's plenty of area for parking. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we have sort of. I have some tires outside, but I'm going to be inside the containers. The world, it's just because my container has little delay. I have, place place. I have a container yep. coming in, and uh, the guy inside. has a problem to bring the container because his truck broke down the one I buy. Yeah, uh, the container coming next week. Everything going to be inside the container. There's nothing outside. Okay. We'll make sure everything. Yeah, no outside storage. Uh, yeah, no outside storage. All right. Um. Oh, a container could be an issue. And then does a lot of portable storage, really. But yeah, everybody does yeah. it. Yeah. I don't see that a problem. All right. I'd rather have a container than have it out in the open and just yeah, absolutely. tires and stuff like that. You know, people are steal them. Absolutely. I'd rather have it in a container. All right. Um, New ones or old ones? Uh, old ones. We have, I have one. So, like, you're talking about tire disposal, not storage of tires to be sold. I don't have so much tires in the beach. A lot of want to be a disposal, but the disposal I want to have out here. I don't want to open it so everybody can see it. I want to be in containers because the guy coming just swap. Yeah, yeah, we definitely we definitely want to see anything you're throwing out in containers. We don't want to see engines and stuff like. No, no, we don't. I know the engines. Okay, uh, we don't change the engines there. I just amazing. just any materials that you do have that I have the oil. I have a company coming. This company coming and give me a a container like a bar, like a, yeah. it's 200, 250 like a drop barrel. Yeah. yeah, and he coming in and he empty it up every time and will give me a new container to put it in. Okay, I'm sure that it, yeah, I'm sure the town is going to ask for your EPA and fire 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 department. Fire fire department. Fire department. Right. So I, I have to bring this to the final part. Okay. All right. Um, any uh, any questions, guys? I've been drive by. I've drove by there a hundred times. Yeah, I saw you putting the lifts in over there. So this uh, is new new service facility. Yes. Yeah, and, and right next to the the. With so the, what type of containment that they have? Do they have for oil and stuff like that? As far as if they they don't have any type of a separator they have a, a tight tank what's going on with that what range question we have a tight tank there for, for the boat base there's a floor drain it's tight in the back of the building any problems we have for gasoline leak or oil leak goes directly to this tank in the back and we empty it out so there's a drain so already did at the time he built the the, the the building so under the original plan the, building. the original he already did it's a brand new building. You spend a lot of money. Told me you showed. I wasn't. I wasn't present when the original building was approved. You guys handled that. Yeah. I just show it wasn't designed to be an office. It's going to be a drive. So there wasn't any floor drains or anything like that. From what I remember. Hey, Bill. Yeah, Jen. Um, uh, Dylan, has he gone, or Gail, has he gone to see Jack and the Board of Health? 
about the floor drains. And I, I, that's a something we should talk have a discussion about. Have you seen Jack in the same office that I'm at? Oh, well, sweet. So <clears throat> You can condition that. But. Yeah, I think. Uh, because if you know you see SDF, do we can use any problems SDF for this reason? Yeah, they, we have a couple questions here, and the couple questions would be um, if it, whether it was on the original plan for the building, it was approved under the original plan, then. It, it's not a lot. Of it. Was it? And um, second would be we should have our engineer look at it. I called on because he told me about this. I, I know I asked him this the first day doing the contract. I say you have any things like he said, no, no, don't worry about it. I did it. I spent, I did the engineer asked him to do it. He have to do it. The town engineer, and he did it separate, which is a good thing. We just yes. probably need to see that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think. Yeah, I'm going to ask God to continue this to the next meeting. Is that okay? That going to hold you up or? Like uh, I'm paying rent there for three months now. When when's the next meeting date? December fourth. Can you wait till December fourth? Sure. That's I'd like two to weeks. get two weeks. I'd like to get a look at the original plan okay. um, and make sure that this was uh, handled properly. Jeff should have looked at it, I would think. What's that? Jeff should have looked at it anyway, right? Like I said, I don't know. I wasn't here. I would, that's when I was out. I think he did. Yeah. I think he would have. Yeah, we had a whole site plan done. Yeah, site plan. Yeah. Um, I just don't remember floor drains. I never talked about them. I don't know if they're there or not, I can't say. So are you saying there was a site plan done, but maybe not for this particular use case? Is yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I wasn't present, so I can't speak to it. I don't know, Jack. Um, do you recall? It was before me. Was it? That's why I said so. I'm looking, I'm looking right now to see if we have electronic files. Give me a sec. Would have been, a, what was that on there? Is that under the the be on the Royal Fireside? Was it on the Royal Fireside? Yeah. Oh, Fireside. Yeah, you were here, Jack. Then that was one of my first meetings. They wanted to expand or something. Yeah. Or store stuff building. outside. No, they they, they he, he planned on renting it. Yeah, rental okay. and storage. Rental and I storage. do remember yeah, that. I I was here when you voted on it. I didn't know any, I, you know, I was new. Yeah. I didn't know anything about anything. But um, my other question, Bill, is there might be an abutter on the uh, on the virtual. I'm not sure. There's a number out there. Yeah, I don't see any questions. From, yeah, it's Fred. Uh, no, that's Fred up there right now, I think. But, um, I don't know. I think we got to wait until we see the plan. Let uh, us dig through. We'll find the plan. We'll talk to to Jack and we can talk to Jeff. Jeff might have it in his files, too. I think Jeff would. Jeff, I, can bring, I can bring you next week. I can bring a copy. He had the, I saw. OK. And this way I can bring the parking spots, too. I don't have a problem with it as long as it's handled as far as the. Yeah. I didn't even think about it when you were here last week. Yeah, meeting. I didn't either. About the floor drains. Wow. No, I, 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 let us get a look at it and uh, we'll uh, get it done at, hopefully at the next meeting. Um, if in case that it needs review, um, we can get Jeff to review quick and uh, shouldn't be too difficult for him. I mean, he must have engineering plans for when he put the drain in and stuff, right? Yeah, he have, to have everything. He shows me all because uh, he have to show me what's the location, of the bank, the right. bank of the building. Right. So he goes in the, in the side, left side of the building. Is in the back of the building. He have like the cap of the tank. Yeah, it's a, it was, it's a big tank, two three hundred pounds. I don't remember the size, but he have one. He told me anything happened. 
That's why he didn't want to take the, the clean because we at least put the responsible for this. So did they have Just the reason he showed me. I mean, I wonder if we, if we even have jurisdiction at this point. Mm. Regarding? Regarding, the, you know, if the drain's installed and uh, he's just coming before us for a use change. Change of use. Change of use. Yeah, but if that use requires. He built that building to have a garage, a rental space, but not for automotive service. I right. Think. That 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 triggers other interest. I think Barry's but, right that we should check this out. Okay. I, I'm sure it's all fine. But <laughs> All right. Like I said, I wasn't present in any of them, so. Everything, the only thing we want to hold it now is just to, to this. Yeah? Yes, to this. So everything is okay. Oh, you guys. By the way, so you guys find found this tomorrow. That'd be okay too. Because well, no, we have to. This. Yeah, I can't make it conditional. We have to review the plan, so we'll have to do it on as of December fourth. Okay. You know. I want to. I let him down two this way. Two weeks. Now. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Six right. o'clock. No problem. All right. Um. So I need a motion, or I'll make a motion to continue. What is it? Public 149 Oxford Road till December 4th. Public hearing. Second. Right. Second. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. Well, you guys are there. We don't have problems. We're all set. No, we're all set. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sorry we couldn't finish it tonight, but we'll get it done. No, that sounds good. Thank you. Next. Uh, okay, so right. next we have uh, Fred Lapham um, is requesting waivers on uh, uh, pretty much explains the no paved inverts reply. Um, the original plan for the remainder of MISCO was approved with a note on the file. That stated no paved inverts required. No what? Paved paved inverts required. Um, now I talked to Damon. Is Damon on? No, uh, Damon's on on board. So, but I talked to Damon about it, and I talked to a couple of. I talked to Mike Tatro about it, and um, but uh, it um, I guess it's not the not that big of a deal on it, especially with the slopes in this area. Um, slopes there. Yeah, plenty of slope. So like I apparently and that's why it was approved on the orig original plan um, for the remainder of the development. We're talking an additional uh, and let me ask Fred. Fred, you on board yeah. out there? Yes, how I many, am. How many uh, how many much additional road length are we talking? Uh, the, uh, well, the new, it, it's about additional road length from the original plan. Yeah. Uh, it's probably, it's very close to the same length. It's probably a couple hundred feet different. Uh, if that, it is very close to the same because all we did was we had the road entrance closer to West Hill Road. Uh, we moved it closer to Jewel Crossing, uh, and it went right through the middle of the Misco Springs building. Remember? So yeah, we we actually we brought it down the street, down Northbridge Street towards Jewel, and so we uh, were actually shortening it there a little bit. Uh, I may be off on my my just my qu quick response, but it's. It's something very minor. No, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, how many feet of road is it? How many inverts are there that you're talking about? Or how many uh, uh, manholes are we talking? Uh, well, the entire site, we're just talking about the modification. Yeah. The modification is uh, probably about a third of the full development. So it's probably something in the order of 50 
uh, manholes, but many of them, you can't even build this type of invert uh, because they're, when you get to a certain slope on the road, uh, you have to go to a drop manhole instead of uh, just coming in and gravity out, uh, li almost lining up. We have situations where because we come in high on the uphill side, we have to come in, go out low to the next manhole. So you get no opportunity there to build this kind of invert. Any questions yeah. I, I can answer them? Yeah, no. I understand what you're saying, Fred. Just in speaking with. Uh, so how many waiver requests are we looking at? Because the agenda says one now. It's this letter says two. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, you know, the, what happened there, the last time I asked for the first one here that's called foundation only permits, that is actually not a waiver. That is a sequencing of events, the the regulation that we're we're varying from doesn't even mention the word uh, you know uh, foundations. All we're trying to do is coordinate activities up there. Uh, we've got a lot of hammered rock that sits in the middle of the roadway. We can't pave it until we get rid of the rock, but we need the foundation only permits in order to move the rock onto the appropriate lots. Uh, and and thereby clear the path to finish the construction. So these this is simply a sequence of events that will allow more flexibility for us to advance the project. So you're looking for foundation permits for lots 12, 13, 16, and 40, is that correct? That's right. Should say what street? Uh, it's Rawson Farm. Uh, there, there. Pardon me. You didn't mark it on the request. What? No, but we go by uh, until go by until the place. Yeah, we go by lot numbers. There's only one lot number for each lot, but you'll have two number threes, two number fives on every other street in the subdivision. So it would be more confusing to to use the street address. Uh, there's one unique lot number for each property. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't like it to get into a practice of this, Fred. You know, we we talked about this the last time we released foundation only permits. Um. It. Uh, It seemed it's to really yeah. it Pardon seemed me? to yeah, but I had to chase you guys to get that road finished to stop the complaints of the uh, of think, the neighbors. So I think this is kind of extenuating circumstances. I was up there. There was a lot of the ledge and stuff that's been that's it. okay coming down Rawson Road down that hill. That's no, I, I know where you, I know where you're talking. I've been Come down the hills for the road. particular section. It's not for the whole project, right? Yeah, yeah just for this Four section. Four lots. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with just a particular section. Drive up there. Do so you have any questions? Well, yeah. What exactly are we talking about here? There's an area of um, <clears throat> up in uh, Misco Springs. It's tunnel ledge. They're cutting through, and, and they want the ability to because they're breaking out a lot of ledge. They want the ability to put the foundations in so they can move the ledge. Because if you see the way they work up there, they use the ledge to wrap the properties and stuff like that. So they regrind the stone. Exactly. And they regrind the stone. So they want an allowance to put the foundations in so they can work the area around it. Um, so they can fill in. And if fill in so they can get rid of some of that rock because they really have no way to put it. Normally, you wouldn't get foundation permits until you had the road by yeah. under. Yeah, we normally right. have to have the binder down before we driven up release. Uh, road, did the, but we can release foundation only permits. They can't build the house. They can only put the foundation. Um, we've done that previously. And except for one instance, it's worked out pretty good. <laughs> but so we'll give them one more shot. 
Yeah, we'll give him one more shot. It's it just a matter of having a place to store the rock until they have the place to use the rock. They got to use it. So the foundation's got to be in so they can see how they're going to. The backfill. The backfill. Rock they crush. You know? Yeah, exactly. So they need some place to put it, but they need to put the foundation in so they can fill around with that rock. Chicken and egg. Yeah. It kind of puts them in a tough position if we don't allow it. So and what would you do if, if it wasn't? I don't I don't have a problem, though. Well, what would end up happening is they'd have to truck it probably down to the base. Okay. And yeah, that's going to create more aggravation for the neighbors because they hate the truck traffic. <laughs> Bill, I'll make a motion yeah. to grant the waiver. The lot 12, 13, 16 and 40. Foundation only second. Do we have any other further questions? Do you have any more questions, Jay? No. I think in this instance it's probably. Okay, I have one little question. You know, those four lots. Is it on Ross and Farm Drive? Yeah. Okay. Is it Ross and Farm Road or Drive? Drive. 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 Okay, Ross and Farm Drive. Yeah, okay. we'll write the decision tomorrow. Okay, Jack. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. What about the manhole? Now we're gonna do that wave. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, that, that's just the waiver for the the the, the uh, foundation only. Yeah. So on the manhole situation, it's a site problem as far as the slope. Um, is it slopes part of it? Um, uh, pretty steep and thin. Yeah, I just. I'm not sure at this you point. Know, you know, I've gone back and forth with this. I'm not sure that the entire remainder of the project has been done without the inverts uh, by the original plan. It was on the original plan. Uh, it was done in like 2005. Right. Um, so this is for the remainder of the rest of the project? Or yeah, this is the remainder. Section? Well, remainder. this section. So if we do it, it for this it, section, I don't have a problem with it. Right, it, how many more? For, is this the yeah, last section? Uh, it's the mod. It's the modification plan that we came in with uh, back in what was it, 16, 2016, or 2015. We came in with a modification yeah, plan I, that. I remember the yeah. modification. I'm glad you do. Yeah. Now the question <laughs> is, I have was, last month. was this part dealt with in that in that uh, modified plan? Uh. Yes, we we uh, it was, uh, but it's uh, it's a little tricky because what all we did with the modification plan was to uh, we came up with uh, a new layout that was more advantageous, better for the environment, better in every way. So we moved Locust Hill Drive. Right, I remember. I, yeah, I remember yeah. doing that to the other side. Um, and, yeah, uh, so all we did was we showed construction de if there was any new feature or any new construction detail, we showed only what was new and, uh, uh, you know, uh, located on the modification section of the subdivision. Was it, uh, was so, it built into so the original? It, was it built into the original plan? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. The the original plan had a, a and I did email you a copy of uh, the the uh, construction detail sheet that has the note yeah. uh, that says no paved inverts required. Uh, that was a note we put on every subdivision that we ever did going back to the seventies. That's a long way, I know. But uh, hey, this, I'm, these are a little small. You want to tell me where it says that? Well, the, uh, it would be the upper left hand corner. It would be detail number one labeled oh, precast. Yeah. And right under that label precast concrete manhole, you'll see no paved inverts required. And that's how every subdivision was built. Uh, I, I can. Uh, Catalpa Lane, Willowbrook Drive, Bu Bugle Hill, Hill Estates, uh, many, uh, all the subdivisions we did had that note on it. 
I didn't, and, I didn't realize this was the modification of the original plan. I'm not even sure why is a waiver. Oh, it's not. Guys? It's it's not a modification of the original plan. It's simply to cover the manholes in the modification section over by Misco Hill. Okay. And that's it. the The original subdivision is covered by uh, the the original plan. Uh, I got you. We got the note on it. Yeah. Right. Have you talked to Jeff about this? Yeah, Jeff is kind of. Uh, when I discussed this with him originally, um, he was kind of he. His feeling was, it's part of the bylaw. I would like to see it. Um, but if it was part of the original, now that was when we were talking about the inverts on the original when we approved the road. Um, we hadn't talked about the modification. So, uh, I'm not Bill, if if uh, I remember correctly, I remember talking about this with somebody from the planning board. I, I, I'm just not sure which one it was, but. Um, uh, I thought that Jeff said the note covers the original plan, the original definitive, because it's there, it says it, and a waiver, in his opinion, would be required for the modification section. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to grant the waiver for both sections, both the original and the modification, uh, yeah, we're that not gonna, would be... Yeah, we're we're not going to go back to the original plan if, if it doesn't need to be. Um, okay. Okay. It's already it's already addressed on the original plan, so it's right. just a matter of us deciding whether we would how we want to manage this. I mean, do we want to get Jeff's opinion or? That's why I'm asking. Well, I, for I, just for this particular this section. I don't think project Jeff's opinion really. Yeah, you know what? I mean, we've already done the rest of the entire project here yeah. without inverts. So I'm right? pretty good, I think. I mean, yeah, the, these structures are built uh, uh, in their entirety. Uh, it, they are built, they're in. This would be a major problem for us to even be able to construct it now that the, the manhole covers are on. The cone sections are on, everything's uh, mortared up. So this would be, a, to, to have us do this now would be a tremendous uh, uh, problem, that just just to accomplish it. Um, but it's a matter it will be exactly like every point. other subdivision that has been built in this town, except for maybe, I don't know what other ones Jeff has approved in town but uh, all the ones we did have the note and there are no paved inverts on any manholes um i mean this it's going to be an opinion thing here i, I think we've got you know two-thirds of a development already done without us. Right. It's been the practice since day one. Why why yeah it's why it's would kind it change? Of feeling. It's kind of if everything's working currently why it it when did it change? What's that? It, no, we it had has always been we had Bill. the inverts have always been in there. It's just there's always it's plans have always been approved without knowing no inverts required back. Um you know, it came it came in in '96. This set of uh, subdivision rigs is '96, and I remember this. I remember who the uh, engineer was for the town of Menden, and they came from Holliston. They were also uh, engineers for the town of Norfolk, and you'll find Norfolk mentioned all through this bylaw because. Uh, that's where this bylaw came from. There was very little discussion and very little went into this uh, this manual for design of subdivisions. Um, I know you guys weren't on the board at the time, but it uh, it came through very quickly. 
and it's got no the town of Norfolk written all over it. Yeah, we so did the, the rules and regs, the subdivision rules and regs when we when we updated them. I, I guess apparently so not. Back in ninety six. No, yeah, we, back we, in up, we updated them uh, what four or five years ago. Right. Oh yeah. And that apparently was left in. Well, we the subdivision regs that this that govern this whole subdivision, both old, original, and modified, uh, are the ones that were approved back in 1996. Uh, so oh, we this. would actually. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, there's an. There should be an additional approved. What's your subdivision rules and regulation? So there's a new one. Right. right, but the new the if if you've got an approval on an old subdivision, there's a a different set of regulations that would apply to that subdivision. Oh, correct. That it's yeah, correct. Yep. Because it's grandfather. Does it? Uh, yeah. Does the new one address the inverts? Uh, 2022 it here, as revised April 27th. I'll see what it says. It probably does. It's three point four point one three. Three point four point three. It probably does. Otherwise, you know, if you didn't have that grandfathering, you'd be changing these subdivision plans so it's every time. Point, it's five point three point seven. Five point three point five three seven. Yeah. Five point three point seven. On drainage. Yeah, it says an invert shall be cement concrete for storm drains and brick for sanitary sewers. That's not paved. As saying, no, that, that it's sort of used as slang. Everybody calls them paved inverts. Uh, but uh, I mean, we have concrete. We actually technically comply with the regulation itself. Uh, we do have a concrete structure precast. We do have concrete pipes. Everything is mortared. Uh, so we do, uh, uh, it, it, uh, it's a matter of semantics at that point. Uh, but what Jeff is talking about is something much more elaborate. Uh, it has a channel that is actually constructed out of concrete coming in the high side going out the low side with the channel through the middle. Uh, we've never had a problem with with drainage uh, with respect to inverts. So, you know, uh, I I think uh, it is it does represent a, a quite a change uh, if you've been doing subdivisions here for a long time, which we have been. <laughs> That channel going through the middle slow down the velocity. Uh, no, no, it uh, the channel going through the middle would just keep the water for the most part for small storms in the middle. Uh, but we have uh, four foot sumps in every catch basin. No water actually goes into the manhole direct. It comes from the catch basins, and we have four foot sumps in the catch basins to catch any debris that may make it its way down the system. Uh, and those are periodically cleaned out by the highway department. So the manholes uh, are well protected in my opinion, uh, with, if nothing else, it's from the catch basins. Problems on my road. I think it's kind of hard to switch gears in the middle of a project. That's right. That's right. That's a smile right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
we would have a hardship. It would be a tremendous cost to rip open all those manholes and pour concrete down in the bottom. You'd have to form it up. You wouldn't even be able to do this through the two-foot manhole cover in the top. Uh, you'd have to take the cone section out in order to have enough room to do it. So, uh, yeah, we're ripping up an awful lot of good, well-installed drainage. Um, tough time to go back. I'll see that what happens. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, it was approved by the engineers and the planning board prior. Uh, that, that's right. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to suggest we move along with the project the way it is currently. And in future projects, Fred, I'm going to do a lot more research on the, the inverts and the going forward. Please, any uh, mm -hmm. future projects you have, uh, speak to the board first before you make that conclusion. Sure, so you have a, I will. A hand up, by the way. What? There's a oh. hand up. Uh, yes, Brendan. Good evening, Mr. Chair. I, you, you might have been actually right on the way to answering my question, but when I was reading about the paved inverts, what I kept coming across was uh, notions that that would improve the life of corrugated piping uh, by, you know, uh, creating a concrete channel for the water to run around the 99% of the time that there's just a little bit of water. Uh, my question is, is that situation even applicable here? It sounds like not because it's precast. And then two, are there any uh, subdivisions in town that have been around long enough because it's like an end of life type issue um, to, to see the issues if they were going to happen. Well, I, I mean, we've got several, uh, uh, several older, um, it appears that uh, this was a practice back when those were being built. You get the one down province road, the teenagers did that. Yeah, you got uh, King Philip Path. And mm -hmm. Talk almost 30 years. That's 30 years. That yeah, that's 30 years. So, yeah, Bill, we went back to these subdivisions that we did, uh, and we actually popped the manhole covers and looked inside the manholes, and we didn't find anything. There was nothing in the bottom, just the precast concrete structure and the openings, the pipe ends coming in each opening, the inlet and outlet. So it, uh, we did put eyes on this, uh, you know, because uh, we knew of the history, but we it's been a long time, so we uh, we wanted to see it again. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Brendan. Um, I think we should keep it as is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think at this point, whereas whereas approved originally. Um, I'd have to think that, um, you know, the, uh, but going forward, uh, Fred, please make sure to confer with the board before making that determination on your own, please. So uh, certainly, but we, that determination, just to let you know, Bill, uh, we always, if we're submitting a subdivision and we have wave, a waiver request, we always request it right then and there. Uh, we're required to do that. Okay. So it's not going to it's not going to just squeak by you. It's uh, uh, we will request the waiver if if we come up against this again, or if you've changed your regulation, we'll we'll make it according to the regulation. Well, trust me, we're going to be going in through an iteration with the bylaws of the CMRPC. Um, including the subdivision rules and regulations. This is going to be one of the things I talk about with them. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion to grant the waiver request for section 5.3.7 for Misco Springs subdivision. Second. Any other further conversation? No. Any questions? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, could I have a request to, for Jeff? Uh, we will need to revise the uh, bond estimate 
for the remainder of, of the project. Uh, this is one of the line items in that estimate. All right, just so send, us, uh, send us an email, Fred. Okay, I'll do that. That takes care of that. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Thank you, board. Happy Thanksgiving, okay. Fred. Happy Thanksgiving, Fred. No, right. To you too. Thank you. Got to address that one with the other. Either. Get it out of the damn. Uh, yep. Take the book back, please. Uh, yeah. Get it out of the damn subject rules and regulations, or make people in here. I did look up at a couple other subjects, uh, including yours, and a couple others. They paved inverts weren't required. So I don't know when somebody stuck that in or <laughs> if they were waving it on. I hope it has some in some areas in your opinion. That's the other waters. Yeah, actually, I guess if, if the water is flowing too quickly, it's a problem. Yeah, we had a problem. Yeah. And that's, but, and I think that's why they allowed a lot of it up at MISCO because everything's a, 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 a large pitch. That's going to fly. It's going to fly. So it makes sense to do it there. Right. But okay. On to the next item. Yep. One more. Five Harrington Street. Yep. Five Harrington Street. Come on up. I think we're gonna need <clears throat> I think we're gonna need to do a public hearing. Oh um, what what is that? You get to the next one. A change of use. Um <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I do remember. Yeah, he's telling me. Jack, that. what's your feelings on this? I think the public gets well, an opportunity. Well, you know, if you look at the bylaw, it's a little vague um, about this. It's a private school. <laughs> it's a CDL driving school, the way I understand it, in a business zone, which is allowed by right. However, the bylaw says if you're going to any any new structure or anything more than 10,000 square feet or something like that. Uh, there, and there will be no structure whatsoever. There will be no structure? No, no. We're not going to build just, or do anything. You I know, this is very there. similar to the one uh, that church that was in here the other day. These uses, in, I, in my opinion, if they don't have any impact on uh, the, the town, a butter's whatever or departments then um uh, maybe a waiving site plan is in order however i don't know if this will have any impact you know you guys know the area better than i do and i'd like to hear how many trucks he's talking about and that kind of stuff yeah how many trucks two trucks yes are they going to be running all day uh yeah most of the time yeah it's a cedar school so they're going to be doing the short line backing alley dog. So we're going to be teaching people actually how to drive the, the semi trucks with a trailer. You're going to have your beepers running? Yeah, uh, from nine to five. I mean, usually uh, regular business hours, just like the trash goes by every day through every, every everybody's house. Yeah, the trash don't drive by nine to five though. <laughs> um, That's a bit yeah. It's it, we we check the zoning. Everything seems good with the zoning. So, um, I mean, yeah. How many, it does how many uh, students do you anticipate and instructors uh, we're on gonna a typical be, day? Yeah, so we're gonna be having. Uh, oh, we get. Oh, so we're going to be having two structures uh, for the time. We don't we don't need a lot of structures and we we seem gonna, to have. Now you just told me you're not going to have any structures. No, no, <laughs> two instructors, instructors, instructors. Yeah, instructors. Yeah, okay. sorry. My bad. Uh, so and as student wise, we're we're thinking of uh, around 15 to 20 students per month. So it's not that many people. And most of the time uh, our courses is 160 hours. 100 hours it's only in classroom which they do online so most of the time they're going to be at school it's not beeping trucks it's going to be actually know the regulation and everything before they they know how to drive 
so any employee parking or anything like that. I'm just looking, seeing all I'm seeing is the uh, tractor trailer spaces. Or is that over here by the uh, riprap basin? I don't think he outlined it. I think he's just showing the lot. The, the original lot approval. Yeah, yeah. This is not the way it is. It's just the line to just do it. There's nothing in the lot. The way that is here is the way that is there. Yeah, I think there's plenty of space to. Uh, yeah. We're yeah. talking 150,000 square feet. They got plenty of place for parking and driving. We are also um, are used to the CDL business. So this, this is not something new to us. So you're going out on the street or is this just contained to the parking area? I'm sorry? Are they going out on the street or is this just contained to the parking area? Just uh, at, the, at the finish of the course once. So. It's going to be. No, going he, to take the, the trucks out of. Just the, once, he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, of course. The, yeah, they, they have to. Uh, uh, by law, we, we have to get them out. But it's not they, they started, they're going out. No. Uh, it's only two hours of driving. They got to do so. It's not they're gonna be okay. For an example, you Barry, you're not gonna be two hours for for the day. It's gonna be um, separate. So let's say 15 to 20 minutes when you're ready to go outside. Which the instructors is gonna let us know. Meet zoning. And that's then that's it. Yeah, it's no problem. If meet zoning, then that's it. All right. Yeah. So if this would <clears throat> change the use, I mean, I don't think the use is any any would be any further uh, well, than than the how many uh, than the existing use. Yeah, I mean, previous use rather. Yeah, it's, it's gone the from going in and out. Right. Exactly. I mean, the, what we have like twenty something uh, storage units <laughs> and vehicles coming in and out up there. I don't think it'd be any different. And we had Amazon storage there for a while. Yeah, we had Amazon storage. <laughs> but anyway, so I mean, I don't see an issue with it. Definitely doesn't violate zoning. So it's uh, it's a actually a reduction in traffic from its previous use. So I don't think the neighbors are going to be concerned. So he doesn't need a site plan. No, no, no building, no structure. Doesn't need a site. So I just send a uh, it's just change of use. Erickson. Yeah. That's the plan board. As approved, well, we haven't voted on it yet. Yeah, once they uh, vote, the we'll write a decision and give it to Ellen and John. Hey, about I'll make a motion. motion. Jack, any yeah, final yeah. concerns on your part before we? I no, I, I think he answered everything. Move, you got, you know, yeah, it's a bit I'll of a gray you, you can just area, but I, I don't have a problem, Jay. All right. All right, John. So the most. The motion on board is what time? Oh, seven. Afternoon. No, we I didn't need it, but he just told me it was. What's that? You make a motion. I okay. can make a motion, and you guys can move it. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you can make the motion, John. <laughs> I'll make a motion for five Harrington Street for a driving school. To <laughs> waive it. Waive I'll site wait. plan I'll review. Wait. Site plan waiver for five Harrington Street. That's it. For a driving school. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's it. Motion okay, that's it. Good. All right. Thank sure. you, guys. All right. Can I grab some water with her? Sure. <laughs> All right. I'm hearing. Right. So, Jeff, you're going to write a decision on that? I am going to call you tomorrow morning. I mean, just so that I can let him know. I make a motion to adjourn. 21 day appeal period. There is no 21 day appeal period. I got a second on that. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Right. If next someone wants to, yeah, if someone yeah, wanted to day. appeal this, they'd have to appeal the building permit. Bed, four okay. See you guys. Brendan, four happy talk. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Thanksgiving, yep. guys.